Hey, this is Keith from Segmetrics, and today we are answering more user questions. This one's from Sarah in Denver, Colorado. She says, I need a custom dashboard to show to my client. I want to highlight the return on investment from the marketing campaigns and the number of new subscribers added as a result of the campaign. How would I create a dashboard like this? All right, so this is pretty cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a single report and use a number of filters on the dashboard itself in order to build out that entire dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, we want to see contacts created anytime who have come through to that campaign. And we're going to say that our campaign is the SQL EG. This is the tag prefix that we've used. So as long as the tag starts with SQL EQ, EG, sorry, and we're in the date range, we know that these are contacts that at any time have come through this report or have come through this campaign in this date range. All right, so we're going to apply that and we see that we have 1745, 179 leads, conversion rate 10.26. All right, so this is our top level report. So now we're going to save this and we're going to save this as campaign sequence EG and we're going to have just leads rolling report, yay. All right. Let's go create a new dashboard. All right, so we're going to add a dashboard here, and we're going to call this EG Sequence Dashboard. All right, and we're going to start, and we want to see the top level leads that are coming through. So what we're going to do is we're going to do campaign leads. All right, so this is pretty simple. We're going to choose our leads. We're going to do single value of leads, 30 days. Perfect. All right, there we go. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to create a copy of this because it's just easier. And I want to do the new campaign leads. So normally you would think, oh, I got to go in and rebuild this base report and everything. So what you can, but you really don't have to. What you can do is you can click here where it says add filters and can say, okay, I only want the contacts, contact created, and we want them in the date range. So this is adding another and filter. So we've already said we want contacts, don't care when it is. And now we only want them in this date range, All right? So let's get that number. So now we see how many of those are new. Excellent, all right? So we actually have a large number of people in this campaign that are new. All right, so let's take this one more step. So we have our campaign leads, all right? So these are our existing campaign leads. And let's take that and just get our customers. So this is just going to be people who have purchased a product from this campaign. And we should probably change this from campaign leads to campaign customers. All right. Now I think you know exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this new campaign leads and make a copy of that real quick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that from leads to customers. And now, I'm going to see how many of those were new, All right? So now we have this and we have our conversion rate and everything fun. So let's get some revenue in there as well. All right. So campaign customers, and we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to change that to our revenue. Actually, we want to measure the effectiveness of these campaigns. So let's do, let's do a revenue because I'm, I am curious about that revenue. All right. Got good revenue there. So we're going to, we're going to easily have And we're going to do, 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 all right. So we're going to say campaign revenue here, save that. Then we're going to do the same thing with this new campaign leads. We're just going to call that new campaign revenue. All right. So now we have a number of these things. So what we want to do next, the next part of the question was the return on investment from the marketing campaign and the number of new subscribers. What we also want to see is where these people are coming from. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a new widget and it's going to be pretty much the same one as before. And we're just going to do a table and we want to see where they are coming in from. So we're going to see this click URL. We're going to show the number of leads and then let's also show the conversion rate of each of those. Actually, let's show lead value and the number of leads. So this will kind of show how many people we're bringing in. Let's call this landing pages. And if we want, and we have specific landing pages we want to measure, we can do the exact same thing here. Where we're just saying, okay, we have to make sure that the click URL equals one of those. All right, but we're not going to do that right now just because we want 
a simple report. All right, so let's drag that down. So now we have the landing pages that people are coming from, how many leads we get, and then the lead value of each of those landing pages, as well as the total uh, new leads, the revenue for each of the pieces that we want to look at. All right. So this is a good way to kind of start that dashboard and see, okay, this is how much we are spending and this is how much is coming through those campaigns. So one other thing we can do here, and we didn't set this up, but let's go into the ad reporting because we're talking about ROI and we can do the same thing with our ROI and with our ad reporting that we did with the contacts. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to say it starts with uh, I think it was sequence. Yeah. Anytime. And we're just going to do end date range. All right. So now this is the number of leads who came in from ads in the date range. And we actually want any time came in through the, through these ads and purchased, All right? So this is going to be the effectiveness of these campaigns as they apply to our ads. So now we'll be able to see our ad spend, our ad revenue, and then the ad ORI, which is the return on investment for each of these ads. And we can do the exact same thing that we did previously, where let's do revenue. Or actually, well, we'll change that on the dashboard itself. And then we can go here, we can add a new widget, and we can do ad spend, ad ORI, and we want to do our ad spend 30 days. There we go. So this is the amount of ad spend we've been making, and this is the amount of revenue we have been collecting for each of those. All right. Hope that answers your question and gives you an idea of how to start building an effective dashboard to show your clients. Uh, one other thing that's, I think, really cool about this is that you can change the date range here to override all those default dates. So you can show last 14 days if you want to compare that real quick. And then you can also have a share button on here that will allow people who are not logged into Segmetrics or who don't have a Segmetrics account like your client to be able to come in and see this dashboard wherever they are. All right. Thanks very much. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them below.